It's so easy to say no to a new idea. After all, new ideas cause change. They create uncertainty. And it's a lot less bother to do it the way we've always done it before. New ideas are resisted from boardrooms to shop floors all across the globe. I could fill this museum with examples. I'm Joel Barker, and I'm a futurist. For the past two decades, I've been working with corporations, institutions, and governments all over the world, helping them to anticipate revolutionary change. I've been studying why people resist new ideas, and I've found a common pattern of resistance that has existed not just for decades, but for centuries. In Venice, between 1610 and 1633, the great scientist and inventor, Galileo, had to deal with that same pattern of resistance. He was trying to convince the leaders of the day that Copernicus was right when he claimed that the Earth revolved around the Sun and not the other way around. On clear evenings, Galileo invited those leaders to climb to the top of the Tower of San Marco to use his new invention, the telescope. He wanted them to examine the discoveries he had made in the night sky that confirmed the claims of Copernicus. They were not convinced. In fact, Galileo so antagonized the voices of authority that he was threatened with torture and forced to publicly recant his revolutionary concepts. Even after recanting, they placed him under house arrest for the remainder of his life. And you thought it was tough selling your ideas. In the end, history vindicated Galileo. But the question here is, what kept those men from appreciating?